Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mount Studio, and today's storyboard tip helps to resolve or lessen one of the biggest problems that developers have with storyboards, and that is when two developers make the same change to the storyboard file and commit it, sometimes they get merged conflicts. The merge tool doesn't know which change to take over the other one, and this has caused countless problems and headaches for developers. <laughs> well, I'm going to give you a tip that can help lessen it. It won't get rid of it entirely, but it will definitely help lessen this problem from happening. Well, one tip that isn't technical is you really have to plan which developers are going to be working on which storyboard so this conflict doesn't happen. And that's exactly what happens where I work, is we're always in very good communication. We make sure we're not working on the same storyboard file. And if we are, then we make sure that everything is merged before the next person has to work on it. The next thing that you can do, besides communication, is you can actually take these storyboards or these scenes. These are, these are called scenes. Some people call them view controllers. But you see up here they're called scenes. Well, one thing you can do is take these scenes and put them in separate storyboards. So then if two people have to work on this file, you know, you might have one person working on this menu and another person working on this screen right here. And they both have to work on the same file. But instead, what you can do is put this one on a separate storyboard. And there's an easy way to do that. If you select it, here, let's zoom in a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to select the storyboard that you want to put in a separate storyboard file. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to click on the editor menu. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry. I just realized that I'm not recording the menu portion of the screen. But what I'm doing is I'm clicking on the editor menu. And then you come down to refactor to storyboard. And what it's going to do is it's going to take that scene and put it in a storyboard. So let's just try this out here. So this screen right here, we'll just call this the main screen. So I'll just call it main storyboard. And here you go, it puts it in its own storyboard, called it main. And if we go back to menu, you can see what happened is it created a storyboard reference. So we can just make that closer here. So now someone can work on the, the home screen and someone can work on this storyboard at two different times and check them in and it reduces the chance of having merge conflicts. So you can, again, you can just click on your storyboard, come up to editor, click on refactor to storyboard and this is like a help file so I'll call that help storyboard and there you go so it puts it on its own storyboard and this is just like and this segue is just like having the storyboard here so that should help you guys reduce merge conflicts when working with storyboards and you can do that you know I could do that with the rest of these screens as well and then if you want to you have the segue here, so you can always change the type of segue um, or any information regarding that. But you have another scenario too is you know, let's come back here and let's create another storyboard. Okay, and we'll just call this uh, about, say we're creating an about screen, right? Okay, so we'll come here. And we need a view controller. And yeah, this is fine. Okay, so say you're back here. Now, how do you create a reference to that storyboard that we just created? Well, all you have to do is this right here. The second item down here in your tools menu is a storyboard reference. So let's just put that on there. And the storyboard that we want is our about screen. So now this item right here represents your storyboard. So you could come here and another person can come here and they can create another menu item and call it about. And then you just create your segue going to that storyboard. So if you want it to be show, you can just click on that and it creates your segue for you. So that's how you use storyboard references. It can greatly help to organize your storyboard if it's getting too cluttered. And it can also reduce merge conflicts when you have more than one developer working on a storyboard. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something about creating storyboard references to help reduce merge conflicts when you have more than one developer working on your storyboard. Again, if you're just working by yourself, you probably won't ever run into merge conflicts. But this is good if you have an open, open source project or you have multiple developers working on storyboards. It really helps reduce 
the chance of merge conflicts and headaches that developers experience. All right, great. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing because I'll be coming out with tips every single Monday. And also consider sharing this video on your blog or on your Facebook page or on your Twitter feed if you want to help out your other fellow developers too. All right, thanks guys.